Okay, everybody. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, so this is a really big day for me. Uh, I guess. Well, duh. Because it's my only son's baptism. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Um, I love paper. I do. It's like my passion. And I've always wanted to own my own pepperie. Not that you care, because I don't, you know what? I don't really tell people that. Because people steal ideas all the time. It's happened to me numerous occasions. When, what? Huh? What did you say? You just said something, what? I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. You made like a noise or something. I'm... Whatever. Great. <laughs> um, God, um. You were saying? I know what I was saying. I know what I was saying, just let me say it. I had this whole thing prepared about God and paper and love and godparents and it was all tied in together. And I can't do it now. I can't do it now. So, um, you know what? You can say something. Ward! Say it. I'll just plate the cake. I thought you were doing this fine. Yeah, really? <laughs> We would like to no, thank No, not we, Ward. I wanted to say something and you ruined it. You didn't let me say it, so now it's on you. You can fucking say something, you asshole. Thank you all for coming. Um, we've got cake! Right, all right. Can you all get some? Just want to smash it fucking face right in that fucking cake. I worked on that speech. I put my heart into that fucking speech and you ruined it. You gonna let her up? I, I wouldn't. Fuck her. You sure it's not in your bag? Yeah, honey, I'm sure. You said you saw it in the bathroom? I never said that. You're nervous. No, I'm not. I'm not nervous. I'm excited. I mean, it's it's Robin Peters, you know. I don't even remember the last thing she was in. How does she look these days? Well, here. Pretty good. Hmm. You think she has implants? Maybe I should get implants. Maybe her, not you. It looks like it. See if you can tell, but don't be obvious. Can you give me a break? <sighs> Babe, I checked there. I'm... Huh. Well, thank you. All right. I love you. I will see you later. I love you, too. Maybe we can do some rubbing tonight. Yeah. Okay. Lily, come on, honey. We gotta move. Hello? Yeah, oh, sorry. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got it off. Had a lunch. Had a snack. Got her shit. What? She can't hear me. She's in the other room. I'm right here. <laughs> she just rounded the corner. Uh, we got it. We'll be there. Traitor. Funny mouth. Honey. Again. Chicken wrap, all white, no tomato, salsa. Extra salsa. On the side. Christ! On the side! Salsa on the side. I got it, babe. Morning. Morning, Stacy. Apparently, I'm your number one neighbor. You got a tough one there, my friend. Well, late start for you, huh? Nah, I just forgot my shades. Oh, well, there you go. You know, you got a brake light out there, Ward. Really? Yep, brake light is out. I'm going to need to see your driver's license and registration. OK. I got it. Hold on. Give me a second. Ward. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm your neighbor. <laughs> you have a good day, my friend.
Thanks, Bruce. Yeah. Hello. You know what the fucking problem is? Good morning. Every fucking morning, I spend nearly $3 for my iced coffee, mind you, which is the same as the drip, which is given to you at the counter where you pay. But is my iced coffee given to me at the counter? I am guessing no. Do you know how long it takes to make a blended drink? Uh, seven hours. Fuck you, a long fucking time. These people move with the urgency of a glacier. Hold on. Hey, you need a hand? Oh, I got it. You sure? Mm-hmm. How's your iced coffee? It's the best one yet. You like it creamy? I'll see you tomorrow. Who was that? The chick that works the counter. Wow, you really let her know how you feel. Fuck you, she's cute. She sucks at her job, but she's fucking cute. Hey, are we still on for Sunday? Yeah, we better be. Good. My Father's Day golf is just what the doctor ordered. Of course, I'll spend my day hitting tour quality shots while Pussy Ward thins every iron and somehow manages to end up on the green. Oh, uh, hey, I'm uh, I'm pulling up to Robin Peters. Oh, dude, that's today? Yeah, I'll fill you in later. Wait, 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 wait. Tell her she sucked in Prairie Girl. Miss Peters, I'm so sorry I'm late. Tom Bradford, Ego Magazine. Mr. Bradford. I have been doing interviews for over two decades now, and not once have I had to wait for the interviewer. I'm, I'm so sorry I'm late. Uh... You are seven minutes late. Relax. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes! Hey. Sorry, we, uh, we, we, were, we just got a muffin and we stopped and the line was, I've just, I've, I've actually never seen a line now. Sure. So. Hey, Tootsie, why don't you go into your classroom? And we'll be right there, okay? One sec, okay? Go on, run, run. What does that mean, sure? Nothing. Can you take Lily this weekend? You can't do this weekend? I was just hoping we could switch weekends is all. I mean, if it's a big deal, then... No. I can help you out. Thanks. You're welcome. You got a hot date? Or, no? Nothing? You just... Just want to be alone. Got some alone time. It's not like a like a Vegas girls' week. Can you switch with me or not? Well, look, I'm just trying to have an adult conversation here. Is that what this is? You're being super defensive, so uh, so I guess I'll take that as you have a new lover. I will hit you. Well, oh, that's fine. Oh my god. Mom. Oh my god. Hi, I am so sorry. I don't mean to bother you. Okay. Is it okay if I take a picture with you? Sure. You don't mind? No, not at all. Would you mind? I'm coming in. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. I'm just such a huge fan of West End Medical. Oh, yeah. I miss Bryce. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> so what are you up to now? Uh, not right yet. Oh, yeah. No oh, shit. Oh. Crabgrass. Robin Peters. Hey! How'd it go? She is fantastic. Really? Fantastic. Uh. The interview, however. Why? A two-time Academy Award nominee, right? Mm -hmm. Couldn't get arrested after pull that. She claws her way back, bit part here, supporting part there. Oh, man, but her tits and bricklayer. I know. Yeah. I know. Real, I think. That reminds me, I gotta call Gina. Hey, remind me to call Gina. Yeah. Okay, so she claws her way back. Yes, right. And so this movie now is getting some real traction. So I show up and ask her what the, the readers of our magazine really want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you are cute and easy to talk to. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you must be good at your job. Oh, please. Well, you can put me at ease. Well, you're easy. Am I? <laughs> okay, on that note, <laughs> I do have some questions for you. We have some business. There's some business we have to attend to. Business. Business, yes. Very serious stuff here. Um, all right. Well, the readers of the magazine would like to know. Uh... What would your readers like to know? They want to know about your dog, about Sloopy. It's a puggle, right? A dog? It's a pug? You just, you know who it is. 
Just give me a second, all right? Hey, babe. Around five. So how, how, how's the baby? Oh, really? So look, what I think you should, yeah, you at, do whatever you think. Look, at the end of the day, you're the mommy. Whatever you want to do. I love you. Hello? Hello? Everything OK? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's, uh, she's just a little upset because the baby's cranky and I'm not around. Because you're working. Yeah, but I'm not there for her and the baby either. Because you're at work. I know. It's just a really tough time right now. Well, maybe you can have Stacy call Gina. Maybe they can go to the park or something, get the kids out of the house for a little while. Really? That'd be okay with Gina? Are you kidding? Oh, she'd love that. Maybe, um, maybe Sunday we'll work golf. You didn't tell her about golf? I'm gonna. I promise I am. It's, look, it's really rough right now with the kid. You know I have a baby too, right? Yeah. David, he's got a kid. Tell her tonight. Uh, do these go with your pants, or are they work out there? Pants? So they are. Hey. Honey. Honey. What? So the guys are going golfing for Father's Day, and I was wondering if I could go with them. If you don't want to spend Father's Day with your son, that's up to you. No, I always want to spend time with him. So. Obviously, you don't, Warren. You just told me you want to spend it with the guys playing golf. I'm stuck here every day, but... I'm sure Tom wants to spend it with his wife and child. No, babe, Tom's going. Yeah, it's his idea. He's playing golf. Don't pass the blame. You're responsible for your own actions, all right? Not Tom or Ronnie or any of your other idiot friends. How's he doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's such a good boy. Mm -hmm. Man, if I'm exhausted, you've just got to be beat, huh? He's a full-time job. Okay. I'm almost back to my pre-baby weight. I know, and you look great. You want a piece of this? Yeah, yeah, you know I do. I'm just so tired, babe. Oh. I know, come on, come on, I'm so tired. Okay? Night. You don't have a cappuccino machine, do you? Big D, what'd you get? Wow, you look like a fool. Hey, can I get a uh, breakfast, Sandy? No mayo? Reminds me of cum. You know, uh, make that two and the Fruit Loops. Lily! You brought your kid? Yeah, Amanda needed, uh, I don't know, something, whatever. You know, I'm not pulling my punches. She's heard it all before. Oh, I got some new shit. I doubt that. Yo, where you at? Hey, man, how's it going? You here? No. Look, I'm not gonna make it today. What are you talking about? It's fucking Father's Day. Yeah, that's the thing. What a pussy. Ah! Sorry, Christ. Hit another. She says her relationship with her father is strained. You're hitting three. Shut up. Dad. Sorry, honey. <sighs> ah, fuck. Dad. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and talk in your backswing from now on if it doesn't make any difference. <sighs> I mean, do they even talk? What does that mean, strained? I don't know. It means he's a fucking pussy. 
to our quality. She says that Father's Day reminds her of how bad her relationship is with her father and that she needs him. Needs him? Yep. She hates him. Look, she spends her whole day terrorizing and berating that pussy. I mean, not that he doesn't deserve some of it, but fuck. Not bad, you'd be okay. Yeah. yeah at least he's laying one. Tell her she sucked in Prairie Girl? Yeah, Ronnie, I did. I told Robin Peters that she sucked in Prairie Girl. <laughs> you know what? She's top three for me. You just put me in a room with her. I would close that deal so fast. I met her a couple times. We used to have the same publicist. I think the last time I saw her was in a gifting suite. What the fuck is that? That's my point, Ron. You'll never close with somebody like that because you need a connection, an introduction. Tom, buddy. No way, never. All right, how about this? I sink this punt, it'll happen. You sink this punt, I will shit in the cup. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, I think you owe me some poo. <laughs> Is that good? Ward, he wants to know who's ahead. Radio silence. Yeah, no way. No sack, no scores. Daddy, what the sack? It's a uh, bag of donuts. Uh, Ward didn't show up with the bag of donuts. So. I mean, seriously, Tom, you know, just not rocking the boat and then they're sacrificing your entire fucking, sorry, your entire existence. Well, I get it, which sometimes has to occur when you have a kid. Yeah, a little bit. Bryce, we haven't seen him since the christening. What? Me neither. Yeah, he won't let us come over. Germs. I miss that pussy. Daddy? I know. I know, honey. Um, just, uh, can you go get us some M&M's? Terrible. I mean, come on, we joke about it, right? We joke about it, but Ward's always been easy to be bullied. I mean, she's a fucking bully. I, I, mean, I mean, ever since she got pregnant, she's got him. He's fucking trapped. All right, he called me before the baby was born. She was like uh, four or five months pregnant. He was in tears. I'm a horrible husband. I can't make her happy. I treat her badly. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got him believing that all of her problems stem from him. How his parents hate her and all this fucking bullshit. We should just kill her. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Mm. But you gotta think about the kid and growing up without a mother. I wouldn't do that to you. Mm. Well, better than growing up with that troll as your mother. That's so true. That's true. Well, we could kill him. Ramon? What? Dude. No, Ward. You don't kill a fucking baby. Ward. I do that for him. I do that for him. It's a mercy killing. Mm mm. Fuck that, because then the kid's gotta grow up with her. I wouldn't do that to the kid. Not even one I'm not allowed to see. Besides, if Ward's not here, who am I gonna wreck on the golf course, huh? Damn it. Mm-mm. It's too easy. Oh, yeah? How's being separated? Go fuck yourself. Point made. You know, there's a theory that everybody gets one. One what? One murder. <laughs> okay. Well, how do you do it and not get caught? Well... She's got no friends. Mom died. Dad doesn't seem to care, I'm sure. It's true, no one would miss her. <sighs> What'd you do, eat me for breakfast? You should think of murder at every address. Daddy! So what's the distance? I don't know, 180, 190? I should go pro. Do you hear that? 
Do you hear it? Now that you woke our baby up, you're gonna get me a foot-long sub. Double meat, double cheese. Or you're gonna keep doing nothing for your family because it's Father's Day. Jesus, are you sick? Good times today, boys. Was. Yeah. Definitely. Lovely. I miss our black friend. We could kill her, you know. Sure, buddy. You know what, that sounds like a plan. I mean, now that you've been killed off your last three TV shows and your wife moved out, you got all the time in the world to plan it out. All right, A, that's just a trial separation. We're just trying to work things out. OK, sure, sure. What's B? Nobody loves you. Hi, Bruce. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. How was golf? Oh, I, I, I didn't make it today. It's Father's Day, so I'm gonna spend it with my family. Yeah, 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 my kids called me earlier. You're in Arizona, right? Very good. Scottsdale, with their mother. Hey, I was thinking next time you guys uh, go hit the links, maybe I could dust off my clubs and uh, play around with you. I'll let you know. All righty. You know, I got a badge. I flashed that thing, we're gonna get a hell of a discount. <laughs> okay. All right, I will see you later. Good times, man. I know. It's okay to have a life, you know. I mean, have something outside of your family. That balance is important. I know. I just wish... I wish Stacy had something else to focus on other than just Ramon. Like a hobby or a friend. Just something. Please. She's a dick. Yes, I know. I know she is. I'll need backup. Okay. Great idea. You look great. Pick this place. The parking sucks. Really? I found a spot right away. But it doesn't seem that full. Yeah, well, it was full for me. And he hates elevators, and the stairs smell like piss, and... Where's Larry? Your kid. Charlie. I, I thought you said you didn't want us to bring the kids. Yeah, like a girl's lunch. Should we go home now? No! No! And just know, it does get better every day. I know everybody says that, but it's true. And when they start to talk, it's so cute. No, but and when they like... start to talk, they don't shut up, right? I, I know for me, once Charlie started sleeping in his own room, things got a little better. Oh, Roland doesn't sleep in his own room. No, the only place he can fall asleep is here, on me. Yeah, but then you, you put him in his bed after he's asleep, right? Yeah, and so he could wake up and cry, no. You're not afraid you're gonna roll over on him in his sleep or something? Some days I wish I would. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, years ago I trained myself to be a back sleeper, you know, because Ward's a spooner and uh, can't even stand the thought of him touching me. I miss spooning. I'm sorry you guys are having such a tough time. Look, it's just hard for me to be with someone who has no direction or no passion. We don't connect and whatever. It's tough. On me, on the way. I, I know how you feel. I mean, it's different. We, we connect. We just, we don't um, have that spark, you know? What's that smell? Mm. Do you guys smell that? Mm. I think it's. Um, yeah, it's not me who took the big dump in his pants. It's smell. 
Do you want to go change him? Yeah. He doesn't mind a dirty diaper. Unless you do. What's up? Hey. <sighs> so I've been looking into it. Into what? What's up, Ken? What's up, Ron? Uh, what, we, uh, what we were talking about with War's wife. Um, I don't know. You know. No, I don't know. If I knew, I would have said, oh, yeah, right, I know. What the fuck are you talking about? About killing her. Hey, Ashley. Hi, Ronnie. Do you have a fucking wire loose? We were kidding. I, I'm just saying that, that uh, the conversation inspired me. What kind of shit fascinates me, you know? The mind of a serial killer? No, oh, she's an ass, right? Yeah. And when, people, yeah. And when people are assholes, we talk about wanting them dead, but we don't actually want them fucking dead. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, Tina. Hi, Ron. Do you know everyone here? Is that? How do you think I make a living? I train all these people. I'm at work right now, bro. You train all these people? Not yet. That's how it starts. I do a couple push ups, I sit here in a beater. They're like, oh, hey, hi, you're a trainer? Oh my God, I'm so fat, I totally needed a trainer. Next thing you know, they're paying me 200 an hour to uh, basically debag them while they bench press. <laughs> and there's something wrong with me. Hey, man, I'm a pervert. I'm not talking about trying to fucking kill somebody. Oh, shit. It's not like I do it. it just, it's just interesting to think about how you get away with it. That's all. Hello? Hello? Can you believe it? I could spend a year? It's crazy. I know, it's crazy, right? It's, it's like he was born last week. <laughs> <laughs> Time flies when you're not stuck at home every day with a baby. Yeah, but it, but it's fun. Sure. We have fun when Daddy abandons us, right? We have fun. <coughs> What's wrong with you? Are you sick? No, I'm fine. You make my baby sick and... I, I'm not sick. It's cake time, Ward. Wrap it up. It's cake time, that's so crazy. Dude, what the hell? What? Crazy. She's, she's just worried about the baby, that's all. Howdy, neighbor. Hey, Bruce, how's it going? Good. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Tom. Oh, good to see you, man. The guys. Hey, Ronnie. How are you? You met Gina, right? Yes, yes. Good to see you. You yes. too. Warren keeps threatening to take me uh, golfing with you guys. Next time you go out, you gotta let me know. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. I play for my tips. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. It's half a Benadryl. You'll be fine. I understand that. I've done it before. You'll be fine. I just don't think it's really. Tom? Hello? Is this Tom? Speaking. Hey. Hey. You don't know who this is? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Well, we had a really nice meal together a little while ago. The result of which was a fairly bland article in your magazine? Yeah, of course. Um, work. Robin? Robin Peters? Am I interrupting something? No, of course, you're not interrupting anything. Hi. How are you? A little out of my comfort zone, actually. I was waiting for you to call me. And when the call never came... Uh, well, I, I, um... I thought that we had a really nice time together. We did have a nice time. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? I, I really liked it, actually. Did you think about it afterwards? Of course, yeah. I mean, uh... I thought that we made a real connection. Yeah, I felt it. A uh, connection. Well, I think we should see each other again. I'd like that, to see you again, yeah. Maybe for a more in-depth interview? Definitely. Something deeper. This is my cell. Call me on Tuesday. OK, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll call you Tuesday. Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye. You got a hot day, Tom? She scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, what did you say? A hot day. Tuesday, was it? I don't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't blame you. I never thought you and Gina would make it. You know, she's too uh, boring and desperate. I'm not that those are bad qualities, but. Okay, time out. Th that was work. <laughs> you're just different. 
Not good different. Not like me and Warren. We're good different. We make it work, but, you know, maybe that's because he's not a cheater. Or it's too much of a pussy to be a cheater, but what do I know? I never thought you were a cheater either. Okay, thank you. Listen. And you know what? Maybe I've already done it. It's fun, right? Secret phone calls. I'll see you Tuesday. We're a lot alike. Mm -mm. You and me, Tom. We could do it now. We could cheat now. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's some advantages to being with people as naive, stupid as Gina and my little ward. I wonder what Gina would think of that phone call. <laughs> Says you're almost out of diapers. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys will be here when I get back, right? You know I will be. Um, we should probably get going. Yeah, we'll be here. We'll be here. All right. See you in a sec. Yep. Is everything okay? Yeah. You're lying. Big time. I just wanted to mash her face in the cake, you know, but then she slipped and I don't know. Tom. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I know. She's dead. Yeah. But but it was an accident, right? I mean... Wait, is that icing on her neck? Well, yeah, she was bleeding all over and she still had a pulse, so I... So you strangled her? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I think she's probably put on six or seven pounds since I saw her last. No, I think that's just the cake no, on I, her face. I thought that earlier. So what do we do? Well, uh, we could have called 911 and said she slipped or something, but now that you strangled her, I... No, look, I, I couldn't risk her waking up and saying, you know, I smashed her face in the cake. No, I know, I know that, well, but... They, they'd know that she was strangled? Yeah, look at her neck. I'll tell everything. I'm an idiot. Fuck! Hey! Right. Shh, so I'm sorry, can we just focus for a second, please? My best friend's dead wife is lying in a pool of blood covered with cake on his kitchen floor. I got diapers! Last pack. Hey, <laughs> man. You? No. Yeah. Do we need diapers? Where's Ramon? Fuck! You killed my wife and you left my baby outside? I did not leave your kid outside.
We're in the kitchen. What? Holy shit! There you go. Jesus. Right? She dead? Yep. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Your hair looks great. You like it? I'm not sure. Yeah, really great. All right, we need your help. Okay. Uh, this is crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, uh, when I was researching how to dispose of her body, I came up with a bunch of possible solutions. When? What? When were you researching how to dispose of her body? Just when Ron called? No, no. You didn't know she was dead when he called. I, I knew, th I knew that, uh, not her body, not your lovely wife. I, uh, that's what was so crazy about all this is I have been doing all this research about how to get away with murder for a role that I'm preparing for. You guys planned this. No, I never intended to kill your wife. I did not. We had talked not seriously about Stacy dying, about, about killing her. Are you serious? Oh, fuck, dude, shut up. Well, we had, we had talked about it. What the fuck? Look, I, <sighs> no, it's, I'm sorry. We were passing time on the golf course, okay? It wasn't serious. Uh, we were well, just guys uh, talking. Obviously, it was serious because fucking Harvey Keitel here has. <laughs> oh, thank you. Researched and compiled what? What is this? Three pages of yeah. copious. No, on how to kill my wife? Not how to kill your wife, how to dispose of her body. That's completely different. Thank you very much, thank you very much. I'm sorry that we, we talked about killing your wife. Even as a joke, it's not cool. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Okay, let's get started. Now I got a few options, a few different ways of doing this. Of course, I have my favorite, but I think ultimately this is a decision that we should come to as a group. Agreed. Sure. Yep. All right. That's cool. Ward. Sure. Why not? Fuck it. Beautiful. There is the basic burial method, either whole or dismembered. We take the body to a remote location, dig a hole or holes, and bury this bitch. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, if we do choose this way, it is better to dismember the body into six pieces. We want to go head, torso, four limbs, put them each in a garbage bag, fill them with bleach. Now, the bleach not only disguises any scent for any wandering animals or, uh, or search parties, but it also begins the breakdown process of the flesh. Wow. Oh. Okay, and then we just, we just go to different locations and we just bury her there. Makes sense. I think so. Yeah, that sounds about right. But what about DNA? What about... What about dental records? What about fingerprints? Good question. Thank you. Regardless of any method, and I got a few more, we want to cut off and burn the tips of her fingers, pull out her teeth. If we can't pull them out, grind them all the way down. We just want to get rid of any easy identifiers. What about her face? That too. We got to make it totally unrecognizable. All right. I'm going to need some more wine. Mm -hmm. to... Get mine. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to keep going. There's the Guy Ritchie method. Now. I looked this up. Now, I couldn't really find any concrete documentation on it, but it sounds really cool. Having her eaten by pigs. Oh. oh. Now, we'd have to get her weight right so that I can get the appropriate number of swine. Well, do you, do you know what you weight? Um, between 133 and 134. Whoa, that's <laughs> way low. Yeah, way low. Women are brutal. Hey, well, we don't have any fucking pigs. I know. That's why there's the ocean. You weigh her down, take her out to sea. Now, you do run the risk uh, of her washing ashore unless you just jam her into an oil drum and just pack it with concrete. Yeah, but we don't have a boat. We can always run a boat. I'd love to go on a boat. Me too. A cruise. Really? Yeah. What, and then at some point we just tell the captain, hey, uh, can you stop for a second while we just drop some shit overboard? Well, what we could do is chop her up into tiny pieces and throw her over bit by bit. He'd never see that. What, chum? Yeah, it'd be like Shawshank when when Andy would take pieces from his cell wall oh, yeah. and sprinkle them in the yard. Oh, I oh, love yeah. that movie. You know, there's no women in that movie. Isn't that weird? We could go big and do a wood chipper. Fargo. Oh, I love that movie, too. I mean, you shove her right into the teeth, it's almost impossible to trace. Yeah, but, well, no, you could you could trace the wood chipper through the rental, though. Yeah, you would have to use cash, um, <clears throat> use a fake name or a disguise. No, that's a pain in the ass. It is. Oh, this is good. All right, now, depending on what type of equipment you've got here in the house, 
we could grind her almost completely down. Like just send her on down the sewer, right down into the drain. It's gonna take a little longer. You do run the risk of alerting the neighbors to the noise uh, of the machinery uh, or the smell. But we would keep it all in the house. You don't like that one. Yeah. He doesn't like it. All right. Is that it? I mean, unless anybody knows anyone with access to an incinerator. No, I don't. No. I, no. Well, then that's it. I am partial to dismembering and burying. I think it's the easiest, uh, especially if we separate the pieces. It would just be the hardest to trace. I agree. Should I agree, we, ladies. Go with yeah. your first choice. Oh, good. good. Or, yeah, I totally agree. Okay. We should chop her up and bury her. Great. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to reconvene here before golf. Wait. You're playing golf tomorrow? We have a 3 o'clock tea time. Everything needs to appear completely normal so that when we alert the police to the fact that Stacy's disappeared, we'll have no questions. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I played golf with these guys. It's gonna be so gonna, much you know, fun. It, it is gonna be fun. Great. All right, now Tom, you go buy some bleach. The more the better. Pay with cash and throw away the receipt. We'll move Stacy into the bathtub, lead her out, then clean this place up. Tomorrow we'll cut her up and bag her before golf. You ladies will do whatever it is that you do while we're at golf. We'll each take a bag. Make sure there's no trace of anything in there. We gotta get on our knees, scrub it up, dub. No blood, no anything that could point a finger in our direction. Just keep your eyes on the task at hand, and we should be golden. Pretty great. Mm -hmm. Definitely doesn't look like somebody was killed in here, that's for sure. Hey, man, I'm really sorry I killed your wife. I know. I know you are. You guys are like family to me. But we always have been. Mom, too. We love you guys. I haven't seen your kid in months, man. Got to bleed her out. Come on, come on. Shh. Okay. Um. Oh, honey, could you go in the kitchen and grab me a knife? Okay, guys, we have to remember that we need to bury all our clothes in a in a bag. What? I. I love these shoes. That's good? That's perfect. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Tom. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to need you to do is uh, cut the thigh uh, diagonally. Um, now make sure you get deep enough to hit the femoral artery. Uh, so you got to go in pretty good. Give it a good whack. You can do it, honey. Come on, you spangled it with your bare hands. You can cut her fucking thigh. I thought you said she hit her head. She did hit her head, yes. And then... I did. I strangled her, yes. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. I am. Go ahead. Cut her up. You can do it. Sorry. Sorry. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, that's not a really sharp knife. We don't have a sharpener. That's really dangerous, you know? Dull knives, number one cause of injuries in the kitchen. Okay, be careful, honey. All right, okay, just... <clears throat> oh, oh, no! Oh, 
think you gotta go deeper. That's a big fucking thigh. Yeah. Maybe uh, try try the other one. Pretty fucking deep here, man. Let's see. I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot. We gotta pump it out, do chest compressions, apply suction to the atria using the spring from the rib cage. Okay. Yeah. Like CPR? Like I think so. <clears throat> harder. I'm pushing pretty hard here, dude. You gotta do it harder. I'm pushing pretty hard here, man. If you wanna give it a shot, be my guest. That's how you bleed a body out. All right, tomorrow morning. What? what the fuck is that? Hide. Hide. Come on. Go, hide, hide. They can see through the fireplace. Bruce. Hey, buddy. How are you? Great. Um, um, what's going on? Oh, I was getting ready for bed. Oh. Okay. Um, I uh, believe that I left my shades in your backyard earlier. I was going to go around myself and uh, check it out, but the trespassing is illegal, so yeah, I thought I'd is. knock. Okay. All right. So if you wouldn't mind. You want to go through the house? Well, that's how you get to the backyard. Right. Um. What's going on? You okay? Everything's fine. Fuck. What was that? Uh. Nothing. Okay. You should probably go around the side of the house. What's that? What's going on? You okay? Everything's fine. It's just that I'm alone sleeping right now. And Stacy gets really weird when I have company while he's asleep. She doesn't uh, want okay. anybody to come in the house. I get that. But, um, right. I understand. We're playing golf tomorrow. Yeah. And I was wondering if you were interested. Yes. Yes, I would love to join you. Absolutely. You kidding me? I could dust off the old clubs. Okay. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, so uh, tea time is 3, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Right. So you could come back tomorrow. Great. Okay. 3 p.m. And I didn't see your shades around back, but you're more than welcome to look. I just need you to go around. Okay. And, I'll do that. Yeah. Hey, you know, I play from the tips. It's wonderful. From the tips. Okay. Okay, right. Oh shit, blinds. Holy shit. Dude, what the fuck? What? You invited him to play golf. What was I supposed to do? I'm sorry, I panicked, I panicked. All right, it's fine, we'll deal with him tomorrow. Be here, 9.30, you finish the job, we play golf. See you guys tomorrow. a fucking face in that cake all day long. What did it feel like? I don't know. I mean, I was nervous. But... Do you feel good? I watched you today. What do you mean, when? You were cleaning in the kitchen. You and your hands and your knees. Your jeans were pulling around you. Around my pussy. Yeah. That's 
time. It was hard. You talked about putting your hands around her neck. I got jealous. And what? Yeah. I said pussy and I went hard in a second. control of that situation and things could have gotten really hysterical but they didn't and I just you did good Lily asleep she's right here next to me bad dream you don't mind taking her while I go off tomorrow of course and maybe afterwards uh, we could take Lily to mini golf with all of us maybe I should get to bed. Good job today. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Look like shit, you okay? Look, I hated her as much as anybody, okay? But this is way fucked up, you know? Yeah? Morning. Morning. What's up? This is fucked up. This is way fucked up. It is, it's totally fucked up. And hey, it's, it's all my fault. Yeah, no shit. But look, after today it's done, right? Right? Right. Right. Done. And I feel horrible. I mean, look, I never wanted, well, I wanted to, but. He feels really bad. You do? I do, yeah. Me too. I feel really bad. I know you do. Let's go cut her up. Come on. Hey, we're in here, guys. Hey, how was the night? Slept till seven. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. Just <laughs> finished our first egg, and where's Amanda? Uh, she's with Lily. She didn't want to bring her, you know. She sends her love, wishes us all the best. Listen, we were talking outside. Um, yeah, I just, this is really fucked up, man. You know, yeah. it's really fucked up. It is, I mean. I killed your wife. I know. And you guys have all been great. I mean, especially you, Ward. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you. Oh, well, hey. Stacy and I hooked up and she got pregnant, but thank God. Although I hate his name, <laughs> Moan's the best thing that's ever happened to me. That name is awful. 
It's like a busboy pimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. But it's just a name. Mm -hmm. yeah. At the end of the day, it's just a name. And she was a not nice person whose only happiness came from her being not nice. She was a bad mom, too. Yeah. She was selfish and she was mean. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm glad she's... Uh, I just want to be happy. Power tools in the garage. Really? What? 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 Yeah, I snapped the blade. All right, I got another one in the garage. I'll be right back. Okay, ready? Here we go. Hey, man, how's it going in there? We snapped the blade, but we're almost done. How's it going here? It's good. I haven't had a cigarette in seven years. I started again last week. This is my first one. Ever? I feel like Denzel Washington. All right, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it tastes so good. It tastes so good. Do you guys know what that shit does to your body? Oh, fuck it, give me one. Assholes. So Amanda and I were talking last night? Yeah. Yeah. Good for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Tea time is three o'clock. That gives us a little over two hours to find a place, bury the body, get to the course. Right, we don't tell each other where we're going. The less each of us knows, the better. Gina's gonna stay with the kids. Thank you very much. Ward, when you get home, call the cops. Say that you came home to find the baby, but Stacy was gone. Say that she's been gone a day or two before, but never without Ramon. Can't file a missing persons report for 48 hours, so. You guys think this is gonna work? Yeah, but they'll just, they'll just think she's left for a little bit. She doesn't come back, you file it, police won't make any mention of it. Hey, buddy, I can watch Ramon whenever you need. Yeah, me, me too. Appreciate it. Well, 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 howdy, howdy. Nosy fucker. All right, you guys are already dressed for golf. Interesting. Thought we weren't leaving until 3 o'clock. Yeah, 3 o'clock. We just, we came by to help clean up uh, after the party. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I saw that. So I was thinking maybe, uh, grab my clubs, throw them in your trunk, Ward. Two of us drive together. Why take two cars? That makes perfect sense. What with you guys being neighbors. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, sure. Um, I got a couple of errands I need to run quick. Absolutely. 2.30? 2.30, yeah, sure, 2.30. All right, I'll be here. Okay. See you there. See you, man. Okay. From the tip! Yeah! Don't worry about it. All it means is you gotta double back and pick him up. It's fine. Listen to me. Hey, you'll be fine. Let's do uh, this. I'll see you in a You wanna fuck? Yeah.
stupid. <laughs> I like the new. Oh, it was a murder. So where are you gonna bury them? Mm. I was thinking along the ridge. Mm. Good idea. <laughs> hey, see you later. Yo, do yours yet? Uh, almost. I, uh... No, I just remembered. Uh, do you have the head? What? The head. Do you have the beast's head? We forgot to disfigure it. Ah, hold on. No, I got a torso and an arm. Uh, left arm. Shit. All right, damn it. I gotta call Ronnie. Get it done. Fucking no. Well, check, all right? We gotta disfigure the face in case anybody finds it. <laughs> what? What's the problem? You crying? <laughs> this isn't my responsibility, Dave. This is not my responsibility. Okay, look, all right, Ronnie, nobody likes this, okay? But there was a situation here, there was an accident, kind of, but we can help. We can help everybody out here. We can help Tom, we can help Ward, we can help Ramon, all right? Just check the bag. Check the fucking bag. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> please, please, David, don't make me do this. Look, Jesus fucking Christ. Check the fucking bag. All right, fuck! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I have it. Okay. All right. Well, you got to, uh, you know. What? Got to cut her face off for something, man. Fuck you! What do you mean? You have to do this, Ronnie. No! You have to do this. No, please! No fucking way, man. All right, where are you? God, fuck! I'm not supposed to say! No. If you did what you were supposed to do, then you don't say. But if I have to come finish your fucking job, then you have to say. Now, where are you? I'm at the ridge. Great. I'm coming. The ridge.
No way. I thought for sure I'd be the only one here. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> you okay? What happened? I can't fucking do this. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? You killed her. You cut her up into little fucking pieces. What, what do you mean, what am I talking about? Yeah, look, I know this sucks, right? But we gotta do this, we have to do this now, okay? You know what, look, it's all right. I'll take yours, you already dug a hole, I'll just put her in and cover it up. No, right? you can't. Yeah, I can. No, it's, 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 it's the head. All right, well, whatever it is, I'll just. No, David put... said you gotta cut the fucking face off or, oh, so, or something. Shit. Right, right, uh, okay, okay. Um, Okay. You know what, man? This is fucking bullshit. This is all my fault. I should never have called David in the first place. You should have taken it. For all of us. I didn't do this. I didn't, I, I didn't fucking do this. I have a kid, Ronnie. She had a fucking kid, Tom! Hey, she wasn't doing the right things. Look, that kid would be a lot further along developmentally if she had been a better mother. You... All right, you don't, you don't understand this because you don't have a kid yet, but Ramon is almost one, and he was, he's barely crawling. What? Yeah, she was still breastfeeding exclusively, Ronnie. That's a, it's a huge thing. What does that even mean? It means she was a shitty mom, not to mention the kind of wife she was, all right? You said it yourself probably more than anyone. But you don't do that to somebody, Tom. You don't fucking kill somebody because they're a fucking bitch. I mean, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Is that why you killed her? Because she's a bitch? No, I didn't, I didn't kill her because she... That's not it, no. Really? You're both here? Why'd you kill her? Who gives a shit why you killed her? Everybody wanted her dead. Ward most of all. What's fucking done is fucking done. This it? Yeah. All right. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for what, dude? We got a three o'clock tea time. I got to tell the starter that we're going to play as a fivesome. I know. No fucking way, man. I am not oh, fucking shit. doing this. No, no, no. We don't have time for the shit, No, huh? he's doing it. You're doing it. No, just give me the club and let me beat the bag. No, I killed her. Yeah. You cut her up. You came up with the plan. He hasn't done anything. Are you crazy? I cleaned up. Blood and fucking cake for three fucking hours last night. I I'm as much of an accomplice in this as he is. He's right, man. You gotta do it, Ronnie. I don't know if I can trust you to keep your mouth shut. I got a family, Ron. Me too. We've been friends for 20 years. What, you really think that I'm... Turn it over. Oh, so you get the. He knows how to hit set. Fuck! Oh no, you gotta, you gotta hit the bag. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. Dude, we really gotta fuck her face up. Oh. oh god. You know what? I think you got caught in her mouth. Just pull it out and do it again.
You owe me. I owe you. That was dramatic. Yeah. All right, let's bury the rest of this shit. Yeah, I'll get the bags from my car. You know what? Give me a couple. Uh, give me a couple gloves. I don't have any gloves. Golf gloves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Not a word, you hear me? Not a word. We got a real problem here, Ward. This is not smart, Ward. You are all over this. Do you understand me? Ah. Ah. Look, I get it. Right? You had a party. Your trash was overflowing. Right? The trash trucks don't come for three days. I get that. But hey, somebody wants to look in here, your name is all over this. Is that smart? It's against the law, Ward. Uh, Ward, if you need to use some cans, you can use my cans. You and your kinky friends. Lesson learned, huh? Huh? Lesson learned. All right. That's good cake. Oh, yeah. Money. Yeah. Now I'm going to take a leak. Hey, Ward. Huh? Me. He followed me. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. He I saw him. Last night. It's okay, it's okay. Relax, relax. He was watching us last night when we left your house. I think he's a pervert. I thought he might. I don't know. But I got to your place early this morning, and just in case, took a couple of bags from your trash, I switched them out, I put them in your trunk. I figured if he tried something, if he followed one of us, it'd most likely be you. Where's your phone? It's in the car. I'll go get it. No, 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 no. It's perfect. Hey, it's me. Yeah, thanks. Hey, I'll see you later. Who the hell was that? That's Stacy's right there. Ward, your phone's ringing, it's your wife. Tell him to answer it. Uh, could you answer that for me? I'll be right out. Uh, I told you you'd be right out. She hung up on me. Really? Yeah. She was sounded pissed too. Ah, uh, you got your hands full with that one. I snapped a blade. There you go. Thanks for doing this. Morning! You ready to go eat? My ball's back there. Sorry. Ron hasn't said one word all day. He'll be fine. He'll be great. Take a little time. Yeah. Nice. That's tour quality. Second best seven iron he's hit all day. Wow. 
Come on. No hitting. Great shot, buddy. Great shot. Thanks for waiting. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to play for my tips next time. When did you uh, speak to her last? Um, earlier today. I think I was actually probably the, the last person to speak with her. And I picked up his phone when we were on the golf course earlier today, so, uh, a little after three. So you spoke to her this afternoon? I did. Shoulders back, hit it straight. Go, hit it. Hard. Hit it. Go. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. See? Eight. <laughs> give me five. Give me two. You're not gonna give me a lesson? Sure. Peters? Hi. May I? Please. Thank you.
Once again, if you peek 